Jordan Woolley. You have five minutes to speak to us. If you don't want to use that time, you don't, just as much as you want. Um, today I was given an assignment in school that questioned my faith and told me that I that God was not real. Um, our teacher had started off saying that the assignment had been given problems all day, and um, we were asked to take a poll to say whether God is fact, opinion, or a um, myth, and she told anyone who said that a fact or opinion was wrong, and that God is only a myth. And she started saying, um, telling kids that they were completely wrong and that when kids would argue, she had told them that we would get in trouble. And whenever we asked why we were led to believe that he was true, if he is untrue, she told us to ask our past pastors. Um... When I tried to argue, she told me to prove it, and I tried to reference things such as the Bible and stories that I've read before from people that have died and went to heaven but have come back and told their stories, and she told me that both were just things that people were doing to get attention, and um, I know that it wasn't just me. Uh, who was affected by it. My friend, um, she went home and she started crying. And uh, she was actually supposed to come with me, but she didn't think she could. So um, my friend, she turned in her paper, and she had still put that God was a fact and to be true. And my teacher crossed her crossed the answer out several times to telling her that it was completely wrong. And one of my other friends, she got really upset, and she started arguing with the teacher, and the teacher got mad, and my friend, she wound up slamming everything off of her desk because uh, she got really aggravated with the whole issue. And whenever my friend and I came home, we immediately told our parents about it and uh, we called the principal and she said that she would handle it but she said that the teacher had already already gone home and another child in my class had asked the teacher if we could like try to put what we believe in on the paper and she said you can if you want to get the problem wrong, which will fail. You'll fail the paper if you do. And um, I felt like this was really wrong, and I didn't feel like it was fair for my faith and my religion to have anything to do with what I'm learning about in school. And I had known before that it, I know that our schools aren't really supposed to teach us much about religion or question anything about religion and when I tried to talk to my teacher about it she told me that it's not it doesn't have anything to do with religion because the problem was just saying that there is no God Mr. Freddy thank you first of all thanks for coming tonight I'm truly sorry that you feel your faith was questioned did you point out the principal was made aware of this today and 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 we'll have a chance to, to, to work on that as per district policy and procedures. So, so thank you for coming tonight. We will definitely be looking into that. Very much appreciate it. Very brave of you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, honey. Good job, honey. Yes, thank you, Ms. Jordan. Oh, we have, ma'am, we have one little quick question. Clarifying, I may have missed it. What grade were you in again? I'm in seventh grade. Seventh grade. Okay, Ms. thank you. Mr. President, clarifying question. What, Mr. DeBrell. What school? I'd rather we not have that at this point in time. That, that's, uh, you, you have a resolution process that we need to follow. 
And I think getting into these details right now would be out violating your own process. It would be unfair to a lot of folks, and, uh, and putting, putting her on the spot is not a good thing. I would, my recommendation. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. It was a, we're brave of you. Thank you.